Hi, welcome to the second video on list. Now we are going to go to Python and create list. Before doing that, let us create variables to store five names. <coughs> so I have already done that. So I put name one Anish, name two Arshita, name three Austin, name four May. I'm sorry, name four is Kalki and name five is May. So these are all my students. <laughs> so next we are printing the five values. So we are printing name one, name two, name three, name four, and name five. So we create, we have created variables to store five names. Now let us see how to store the same values in a list. So let us create a variable names. So I put names. After that, we put equal to, and then a square bracket. So this is called a square bracket. For print and input function, we use round brackets, which are like this. But here. We use square brackets. Now inside this, we can type the values we want. Since all the values are strings, we should also follow the rules for strings. What is the rule we follow for strings? Very good. We need to put it in single quotes. So we write Anish. Okay, done. So we wrote the first name in single quotes. So what about the other four values? Usually, when we write many values in English. We put comma after each one, correct? Just like that, we will put comma after the values in list also. So after Anish, we put comma, and then within single quotes, we write Ashritha, then comma again single quotes Austin, then comma again single quotes Kalki, and then comma again single quotes May. So we have created a first list. This is excellent. Now, when we learned how to create variables, what is the first first thing we did? We printed the variables and got the value as output. Correct. Same way, let us print the list and see the value. So just like how we write for variables, we will write print. Here we for print we always use round bracket. So we put the bracket and names. Now let us save the file and run the code. All five names are printed as output. We can also see that it gives same output as the variables above. Now, so I'm sure you, you understood how lists are created. Now let us see one more example with numbers. Let us create a list and put even numbers as the items of the list. So I'm going to give the list name as even numbers. So I write even numbers equal to what do we do? We put square brackets within square brackets. I'm going to put two comma four comma six comma eight and ten. Just like how we do with the integers, we will not have to put single quotes for the values. So now let's write print. Open the bracket. Close the bracket. Even numbers. So we're printing that list. Save the file and run the code. The items in the list are printed as output. So list can store both integers and strings. So now we know all information about the syntax of list, how to create it, and how to print it. We are going to see a lot more interesting information about list in our next video. See you soon.